Hello, in this video I want to show you a workbook on trigonometry. So this is a book that covers specific topics in trig and those topics, some of them, are harder. So it's going to help you if you're taking trig. Now it doesn't have everything that a regular trig book would have. So it's not a trig textbook. It's a workbook which means that it has some of the topics and it has tons of exercises and it has answers to all of those exercises in the back of the book. Let's look at the answers first so you can see all of the answers that you get in the back of the book. Answers to every single problem are found back here, which is extremely useful if you're using this for self-study. Now the topics in this book are very specific, and I think that this is one of Chris McMullen's best books. Let's check the copyright here. Copyright 2012 and 2017. I think this is one of his best books because he covers, he covers some easy topics, but he also covers some of the harder ones. And I like how he does it. I like how, in particular, I like chapter seven. I'm a huge fan of, of how he does this. So let's look at all of the contents. Converting degrees to radians, converting radians to degrees, very, very easy stuff. Identifying trig functions in right triangles, special right triangles, Memorize basic trig functions in quadrant one. Yes, that is something that you definitely want to do. Whatever works, whatever you need to do, memorize it. Different people have different ways of thinking. So just do whatever you think is right for you and memorize them. And then finding the reference angle. And then you use the reference angle and your memorization to determine basic trig functions in quadrants two through four using a property of uh, trig function values, right? So this is super, super key. This is probably the hardest thing in all of trigonometry. Like if you get really good at this, you're probably gonna be okay for the rest of trig and, and calculus and everything else. Like this is something that you need to know and need to get good at. So Chris does an excellent job here. It's worth buying just for this alone. Inverse trig functions, again, another place of mass confusion for students. Super, super good that he includes this. Again, these, these, these core topics that are in this book are why I think this is probably one of his best books. The Law of Sines and Law of Cosines, uh, Trig Identities, and then some algebraic equations uh, that involve trig functions. Also considered very hard uh, for people who have a hard time with this. So here's where it starts. Converting degrees to radians. So you do some reading. You do some more reading, then you have some exercises, right? And you can check your answers uh, in the back of the book, which is excellent. Plenty of exercises here, right? Whenever there's easier problems with shorter solutions, uh, there's usually more exercises. When, when the problems are more involved and they're longer, uh, there are less exercises. You can see here there's tons of exercises because these problems are really easy, so it's easy to throw the problems on here and put solutions in the back. Same thing here, uh, converting radians to degrees, also very, very simple. Let's jump to uh, that chapter I talked about. So here he talks about memorizing. Okay, memorizing basic trig functions in quadrant one. Give some special triangles, you can use those. Or you can just commit them to memory, which I think is better, just, just memorize them. Some people use mnemonics and stuff. Whatever works, right? Whatever works for you. My advice is just do it and memorize them. And then you've got tons of, ex tons of exercises. Here we go, finding the reference angle. Good section, tons of exercises. And then we're getting to the meat here. This is the most important. Determine basic trig functions in quadrants two through four. So here you can see that there's more text in the book. It's a lot more reading. That's because he's trying to explain things. Some more examples here. And then here you have these exercises. These take more work. And this is where people really struggle because it's really easy to just reach for a calculator, right? Um, and you don't want to use a calculator for this. You want to be able to do this without a calculator, okay? It's very important um, to be able to do it without a calculator. This is basic trig. And if you master this, uh, I feel like everything else after this is relatively simple. Even the trig equations are gonna be easier because when you get to the end of the equation, you have to find all the solutions to this trig equation. And it's very similar to the process that you learn in, in this particular chapter. So yeah, look at all these problems. This is great. And then he has answers in the back of the book, which makes it even better, right? Even better. Inverse trig functions. This is the chapter where people have a really hard time. I remember the first time I taught trig, which was, wow, it's been a long time uh, since my first trig class. 
And what a struggle, right? People really struggle with the inverse trig functions. Um, you have to spend a lot of time on it so that people learn, learn it correctly. The, the thing with the inverse trig functions is you have to know their range. Um, so that's really, really key. And tons of examples here. Tons, tons of problems. And then you've got the law of sines and law of cosines. Not too hard. Uh, let's just skip ahead to some other stuff here. Let's see what else we got that's fun to look at. Some identities here. What's this? Let's see what this is. Solve algebraic equations that involve trig functions. This is one that can be hard, but it's, it's not that bad once you master that other stuff I was talking about. Um, solving the equations are actually not too bad. It's, it's that last step, uh, like this step here, where you have to find all the solutions. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, right? That's, that's, that's the hard part, going from here to here. That's that, and that's what you learn in, in those other sections. So, and then you've got some exercises here. Let's take a look at the difficulty of these. I'm curious to see. It's been a while since I've looked at this book. Pretty easy, easy, a little bit harder. Yeah, there's, there's a good, good, good selection here in terms of difficulty level. What about here? Yeah, these are pretty good too. Here's a sine squared with the two theta. Going to use an identity there. Perhaps. And then some more here. You know, there's multiple ways to solve problems. Yeah, and then you have answers in the back of the book. So I'm just going to give it a whiff here because it's calling me. It smells. I can smell it from here, even though it's a newer book. Ah, it smells amazing. But yeah, it's a, it's a great book. It's one of the best books, uh, best workbooks out there for Trig, if, if not the best. I can't think of a better one. I don't own a better one. This is the best one I have. Um, it's not a Trig book in the sense that it doesn't have everything you need for Trig, but it's going to focus on those core topics that make Trig hard. And that's why I think this book is really, really good compared to the other books um, that Chris McMullen has, has written. So yeah, adds a lot of value to you. So if you're taking trig, get this book. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. Uh, if you want to learn trig uh, on your own, it's also a good book and it's affordable. You know, it's, it's cheaper than a regular trig book. Also, you can write in it, obviously that's what this room is for, but, but you don't have to, I have not written uh, in my copy and I won't, I want to keep my copy uh, nice and clean. By the way, if you want to learn trig, I actually do have a trig course. Uh, it's on the Udemy platform. Uh, but if you get it, please use the links from my website because I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. MathSorcerer.com or FreeMathVids.com. And I've got a trig course there. It's pretty good, actually. It covers way more than this book does. It's got videos. It's got exercises and stuff. So you can learn a lot of trig uh, with that course. So yeah, check it out. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay, too. The biggest takeaway you should take away from this video is that this is a very valuable book in the sense that it's going to cover those core topics in Trig that give people a hard time, and that's why I think this is a good book. I hope this has been helpful, and keep doing mathematics.